some legends have, you know, th- it's really hard to kill them, so the only way to really do it is, just, oh, I'll play my own, so mm. I can kill my opponents. Um, so everything's got that so Achilles kind of, heel. It, it's just kind of like a weird, weird rule that you really have to kind of know the game kind of well. So if you're just kind of starting, mm. and someone says, well, no, they're both destroyed, it's just kind of like, wait, why? Mm. But now it's kind of like, oh, all these planeswalkers and legends, you'll be able to play more of them, and um, there'll be less kind of loopholes to, to destroy them. So um, some other rules, too. Rules updates I recommend if you play. Check out uh, um, dailymtg.com or um, wizards.com. They have all the rules updates. Um, I think it's a good thing. I think it'll uh, it'll only help the game. Yeah, it's not like they're trying to hurt or like make it more difficult to play. No, no it's just they... some people just are like, whoa, I use that, you know tiny little loop loophole to do whatever. And it's always, you know, like, always got to like be one banks. person. It's just yeah. like, it's like, uh, it's like wall street wheelers and dealers. But <laughs> look, f- yeah. So check out those new rules. Um, come in on Saturday, magic game day. Yep. Starts at noon. Starts at noon. Yep. Five dollars. Yep. And we'll, we'll have uh, promo cards for pretty much everyone. So sounds sweet. That's all I got. What do you anything? Oh, we got uh, we got our contest uh, from Stan. Oh yeah, uh, Stan's who, question about uh, which Marvel series uh, lasting uh, both running. There were two of them. Which two Marvel series, uh, which ran for over fifty issues apiece, uh, will never be reprinted by Marvel? Uh, as we were guessing last week ourselves, uh, we were on the right track. Uh, licensed properties uh, that they no longer have the licenses for, uh, Micronauts being one. Uh, and ROM Space Knight. But the catch is that they can use uh, the character Bug from Micronauts because they created that character. And uh, anybody in the ROM series that wasn't ROM because they weren't toys, they can use those. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Um, there's a couple more that stand throughout. Shogun Warriors and Godzilla, same reasons, licensing. Uh, yeah. Need to know. So if you want to read those, you're going to have to come in and pick up the back issues. Yeah. Because yeah, we... Can't get them any other way. But yeah. really, really cool information. Stan is always always teaching me something new that I didn't oh, know yeah. about, stuff like that. Uh, we also got another email with the contest from... Let me just get it here. Uh, from Michael Tew, you know, along with his guests. He was saying, um, I really enjoy the podcast. It's a nice mixed bag of news from the store. I like hearing what you guys are reading and think of new shows and movies and it wants him to. Uh, it wants him. It actually to, makes me want to pick up new series. Yeah, so. and I, you know what? I'll agree with him. Sometimes I listen to you and Matt talk on the podcast <laughs> at home, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I will read that Cyclops going back in time. Yeah, or, or bring. You know, so you, go on. I think you guys can. Well, which one was it? it was, uh, the all new X. All new X Men. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to point out that. Thanks for the kind words, Mike. But you also Thank added you. something in that email um, saying that there's hidden gems all around the store. Like he just noticed um, – where is it here? He just noticed the how-to art books by our used section. So I went and I took some time and I went out and tried to find uh, a nice little hidden gem in the store. And it actually has to do with something I don't think we've talked about yet, uh, which is records. Uh-huh. And I found uh, – this is going to sound a little – a little weird, mm-hmm. uh, a record um, by two artists called Chester and Lester. Nice. Are name, they a banjo name, band? Or? Name sounds a little weird, but get this. For music fans, it is uh, Chet Atkins and Les Paul. They did a couple no albums way. together. Yeah, yeah. It's no really way. cool. I went home, oh. YouTubed, uh, you know, YouTube the two of them. It's a really nice uh, blend of of country and uh, jazz kind of guitar. The stuff that I heard was mostly instrumental, but um, I figured that was, you know, upon first looking at it, it's like Chester and Lester. That's kind of that's kind of a silly name for two guys. <laughs> um, but then you realize who they I are. I hope you know that all of our listeners named Chester and Lester just <laughs> clicked out of the, the podcast. Well, think of, think of uh, what names they have associated with them. Chet Atkins and Les Paul. Uh, that's, that's that's some yeah, that's, that's some pretty sweet. Business. I can't we, we, we like the some... only Kevin I can really think of is Kevin Sorbo. So it's like, oh great, I got the guy who plays Hercules. No, I'd re- I'd like to be Kevin, associated with Kevin Costner, man. He's gonna be in the new Superman's dad. 
Oh, that's in Field of Dreams, yeah. actually. No, Field I, I saw Dances the, with Wolves. That's a good one. Yeah, I saw the yeah, I, I saw the, the Man <laughs> of Steel uh, trailer last night. Oh yeah, I was yeah, like, is that one? Kevin Costner? Kevin Costner and um, and um, oh jeez, uh, Russell, Russell Crowe, Crow. both uh, of whom have played Robin Hood in separate movies. Seriously, now we two, just got to get the Robin guy from for dads. from uh, Carrie, Robin Hood Men in Tights. Carrie, uh, uh, they always. Carrie, uh, I was just the other day with my family. Try, we were all trying to remember how to say this guy's name. If you know how, <laughs> call, probably best to uh, leave us a voicemail at uh, 500, no, 508? Yeah. 499-ZORG. Zorg. We should just have it be, instead of podcast at that dot com. should just be like, Zorg things, at that No, com? things you guys got wrong <laughs> yeah. at that com. Just let us know. It's, yeah. Well, come on, you can volunteer. Maybe we'll even get you on uh, here, say we can make a montage of people trying to pronounce it. Yeah. yeah. But another cool hidden gem. Chad showed me this yesterday. Wait, Chad. before before you go move on, I do uh, want to say, speaking of records, if you didn't know, we have a lot of great records. We get new we records do. in, and then we get crazy dollar records, and then, you know, we get used one, used classics. Matt, what you picked up one oh. last week. Have you been able to listen to I it li- yet? I have listened to all of it. It's just a uh, two, two album, four sides, uh, each featuring a different underground Soviet rock band. So these are... Illegal rock bands from the USSR uh, back in the by the sound of it during the eighties. One of them I could tell must have listened to the Clash. Uh, there was an influence there. They are yep. really neat and weird, and uh, it's, I think it's just always cool. Uh, Soviet artifacts are always interesting to me to to see that you know this rock and roll music, which is not you know up to American standards, could have got them thrown in jail. Probably, yeah, huh? because they rocked too hard and it made people uncomfortable. I really like listening to something where that was the case. Sometimes it's just fun to to like figure out the backstory, of like why or what content they had, because I, mm. I I know that's they've made documentaries on on bands or albums um, from all kinds of different countries uh, where they they can't play. Mm. So like they have to like find some weird hidden bunker if they ever mm. want to even just practice. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of bands banned from, you know, China. And, I was going to say China's yeah. a big guy. I saw a documentary where the, this is pretty old now, but people have, yeah, for, you know, the past 30 years been meeting in a basement somewhere to play illegal folk songs. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. So okay, anyways, so, yeah, just found it poking through the bins. So yes. come on down oh, and find uh, your own always, treasures. Always some good stuff in uh, the dollar bins, and they're always buy 10, get 10 free. So if you find enough, you can try out some new stuff. And we you have can tons buy. of... Yeah, you can buy 10 awesome ones for yourself, and then you get 10 for free that you can just may not be awesome, and you can give them to someone else. That's pretty much like, a... Yeah, I thought of this, uh, or saw this and thought of you, and give exactly. it to someone. Exactly, yeah, 99 like, cents or 50 oh, cents wow. if you get a bunch of them. 10 copies Easy of the, gift. the same tea, Herb Albert and Tea of the Wanna Brass. <laughs> so we got... I'm sure there's someone out there who's looking oh, for yeah. 10 copies of it. Well, honestly, hey, we should yeah. probably wrap up soon, but... Um, what oh, you're yeah, saying, one, one, more? one other sweet hidden gem. Chad showed me this yesterday, a DVD we got in. Was, uh three ninjas at like high noon mountain oh, or something some like weird sequel that yeah which had uh Hulk Hogan but also had uh Ernest himself oh, Jim Mr. Varney Jim Varney um but to the go late, with the that great. yeah to go with that in our Super Nintendo case we have the three ninjas kickback Super Nintendo game Ooh. what a cool double pack that would make Oh, a Three yeah. Ninjas movie and then a Three Ninjas game. That would be a sweet, sweet birthday present. Here's for one thing though. I don't know if you guys ever watched Three Ninjas. Oh, I watched it copiously. Okay. So I'm try. I was trying to think of the guys' names too because it's Colt and Tum Tum. And uh, who's who's the? Do you want me ninja? to answer? Is this a trivia yeah, question? Should I answer? Go for it. Yeah. Rocky. Rocky. Ah, oh, Rocky. Okay. Rocky. Who I don't know loves how I Emily? Think. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Those I. So those were some cool hidden gems. Come check them out. Come find some for yourself. Oh and, yeah, and thanks for pointing that out, Michael. That's we definitely do have some some cool yeah. stuff yeah, that even we don't know. Yeah, well, it's <laughs> one of those things. That the store has so many things that sometimes you know it, it just gets we get used to it a lot of times. So like we'll see cool things come in and be like, oh yeah, that's awesome. But like we should really you know let people know like of these weird things that like that come in every huh? every um, one one cool thing I'll, I'll mention. Um, quick that I do have coming out that's pretty cool that's video game related is uh, you know how they make the new um, Super Nintendo, Nintendo systems, the 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 GN twins, the retro duos yep, um, so you can play all the old games, yes, I have a new system coming in in a couple weeks it's uh, 
Neo Geo. Neo Geo. Wow. Yeah. Um, You'll be able to play Neo Geo games. It's got a bunch of built-in Neo Geo games. Man, it would be a shame if one came out, one came in and it was accidentally like opened or something, and like one of us has to test it to, to make <laughs> sure it worked properly. Oh no, we, we got to test all of our systems before we put them out. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll we'll be, tr- it, but it, it's also like it's portable, and then you can wow. hook it up to the system. And it's got built-in games, and you can also play games to it. It's it's cheaper than a Neo Geo system. That's that's pretty sweet. We're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to let people know once it comes in. So yeah, I think it's uh, Neo Geo Gold or Neo Geo X nice. Gold. Nice. Well, I can't Master wait for that. Mag- Magnum. Extra large. <laughs> Anything else? Well, that's all I got for this week. Yeah, me too. Uh, send feedback uh, to podcast at that sea. If, if you, you found any, any uh, cool hidden gems, uh, feel free to write us and let us know yeah, your favorite yeah, thing no, you found. Yeah, if you're ever in the, ever in the put store, Put them on too. Facebook. Yeah, take a picture and put them on our wall because, you know, some of the stuff is, is so weird that, you know, share it with the world. Absolutely. Absolutely. Share it with us because uh-huh. people have come up with stuff and it's like oh i totally would have bought this 10 years ago had i known about it mm-hmm. and it had been sitting there for 10 years actually yeah, yeah. well i'm kevin i'm evan and i'm, I'm mitch <laughs> <laughs> uh, just uh, kidding no, Thank- i'm evan i'm kevin i'm matt thanks for listening ninjas guys. and uh <laughs> i we'll, call tom tom we'll uh we'll kick back next week and uh thanks for listening thanks for listening thanks for listening so long fellas